Hello, my name is Karx82 and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons series. I am just completing some of the uh, coin quests for some items to help out with uh, getting some of these things going. Now, the resistors, vacuum tubes, I probably won't be doing many cables, but uh, for the meantime, since wires and stuff are quite expensive, um, I did go ahead and get a bunch of these, including circuit boards. Um, it is definitely worth it for all the coins you get. So I have completed, what, five different repeatable quests right there. I could even do this one again. And uh, yeah, I still have all these coins. And I have a whole bunch of quests I haven't even turned in yet. So definitely, 100%, definitely turn these in and use those coin quests to progress because they will save so much time. Um, I will mostly, once we get a wire mill up and a chemical reactor, I probably won't get any more of the cables, but I will definitely keep doing these until they're almost obsolete because these vacuum tubes, as we know, um, are rather annoying to make. I gotta make the glass tubes and then I need all the different parts. So yeah, just uh, keep that in mind. Don't hoard your coins, use them. Um, you get tons and tons of them. And uh, yeah, just thought I would point that out. Um, I need a couple more steel casings. Um, I did forget so that this is actually a thing. Um, I think it's two. Yeah. So you can either get those casing things from... Oh. I don't know if that's going to show it. No, it's not going to show it. Um, you can either get them from doing a hammer, or you could throw it through a fluid solidifier. It's even better for that. Um... But that's, it's a better ratio if we do that, I think. I haven't really done the math. So it would be three ingots to two plates. Yeah. So if I did it with the hammer and the plate recipe, it would be three ingots and I would get two steel casings. This way it's two ingots and you get three of those. Obviously, we're going to get better ratio eventually. But uh, yeah. So that quest is telling me that... It is reset. They do are they are on a timer as we can see. So 23 seconds. It's pretty short. I just did it a couple minutes ago, right before I started uh, recording. Yeah. So yeah, that will just help us uh, early game because early game is the well. I don't know. I wouldn't say the hardest part, but it definitely is the most resource intensive. I would say. Um, but we are going to go for that one and that one. So, yeah, I have a bit of work to do. I'm just going to throw as much as I can down here just to uh, get these filled in. It makes it so much easier being able to see. I do wish the it showed up on top like it does in newer versions. Um, I don't know what mod does that or if that is just whatever that is, but uh, yeah, at least with the hollow glasses, um, we can we can see what's in there. So, all right, just doing that. Also, I spent quite a bit of time and crafted up a second blast furnace because as we know, I was going through a lot of iron. We're gonna need a lot of iron going forward. So you really need to get Lots and lots of iron cooking up here. Um, so basically, this should always be running. And uh, that for each, so I need... I just try to keep it a bit even. Because uh, I'm not exactly... Uh, I'm not exactly drowning in charcoal at the moment. But, uh, all right, so that is that. I guess, uh, let me, I think wire mill will be the first because it's kind of the easiest. This is a little more complicated with the pistons 
Um, but they're both kind of equally important at this point. Also, I do need... Two more of those. So I'm going to throw those up there before I use them. And I wish I could paint those. It feels so weird not being able to paint the, the cables yet. All right. So we'll be back. And uh, I'll probably... We'll come back when I get both of these crafted up. There's a lot of crafting. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back. All right. Uh, we are back. And I just realized I'm going to need... Nope, not that. Um, I'm going to need a one more circuit so i'm actually going to uh, buy some more of this i think we're good on yeah we're good for at least one eh. yeah i'll just leave that i don't we won't spend any more uh because i need I need one for the metal bender I'm about to craft up. So I forgot what goes in the middle. What goes in the middle? Oh, circuit board. Right. You know what? While we're here, might as well just buy some more of that. I got enough for two. Um, I'll leave that in there. I need to... I'm just a bit short on steel at the moment. Um, I've been waiting for it to... Wrap up because it is... It's pretty... Uh, pretty resource intensive, these very beginning recipes, because they just require so much... I feel like that... No, that's right, I think. If I remember... And then, just because these, all these plates and stuff just require so much extra, and these gears, and yeah. Like that gear required, these two gears required three ingots, and then four rods, so seven ingots. So these two small gears required seven ingots of steel. Nope, I did something wrong. I feel like... Like that? Yes, there we go. <laughs> it's kind of funny how I I remember from um, There we go. All right, so there is the basic bending machine. There we go. I thought that would be a thing. Also, uh let me know if the machine sounds are too loud. I love the machine sounds, but uh, I know it might be a bit hard to hear me over the machine sounds. Um, what am I trying to do? Music and sounds. Yeah, I think it's that one. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, let me know if it's too loud. And then we will work on that. But uh, all right, so there is the basic bending machine. Now with this, we can finally get some... A better ratio for our... Steel plate. And there's so many like steel ingots. It's hard to find the one I'm looking for. It's usually the first one. But uh, yeah. So we've been doing the forge hammer recipe, which is three to two. But now I can finally and find the dang thing. Yeah, we can finally do a one to one ratio. So that is going to cut down on the amount of resources a huge amount. But we are going to need a program circuit of one. Uh, this is the first time we've used the program circuit, so you just have to do that. Now, the program circuit... Does it show them all? I'm just kind of curious. Uh, I kind of wish it showed them all, so I could just click on the one we need. Pretty sure we need to combine it, yes, with a screwdriver. Now, there is a whole bunch of them, as we can see. One goes up to 24, and each of them have a different position for the screwdriver. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that's really annoying. I much prefer the Great Tech Community Edition way where you just shift right-click and then 
you get a, a GUI that lets you set it. Um, I much, much prefer that. I don't think having to do it this way makes this like any more difficult or anything. It just is tedious. But uh, yeah, so there we go. We put the one. I do like the new texture of that. Whoever did that, awesome job. Um, but with that, we will just... I'm going to need another one of those for sure. But we just throw that in there. Super quick, and there we go, one to one ratio. So these three machines help so much with uh, cutting down the amount of resources that we need. Just smelting up a whole bunch more iron. Uh, this is crushed pyrite. This is what I got from the nether actually, and it's a really good ratio. It's, you get four ingots per pyrite ore. Actually really good. So, uh, I may go farm more pyrite, actually. Svalorite's always good to have, so I don't mind doing that. But, uh, yeah, so there we go. I'm curious, what do we think? Where does it... Alloy Smelter, we will eventually... Yeah. See, I don't want to do... I don't have enough <laughs> materials to do 16 at the moment. So I feel like... I mean, that's an awesome reward. Look at that reward. Oh, you get three of those. Uh, that I think they're, or maybe it's is it twenty each or ten each? No, I think it's ten each. So I guess that's only thirty. It looked really good though. Yeah, they're ten each actually. So it's not quite as it's only thirty coins, but it looked looks cool. Um, what do we want to do? We are, we're basically working towards the blast furnace. That's kind of like the next big goal. Um, but before we start working on that, I want to get everything. I want to get all the best ratios for my resources. So I want to get all those machines uh, crafted up. Um, first, I lost my wrench. There we go. It always feels weird if I don't have these first four things. I always have this in this <laughs> this way. So if I'm missing something, it feels very weird. Uh, I do usually... Basic electrolyzer is helpful, but not that helpful because a lot of the recipes actually require an MV electrolyzer. Um, but there is no components. It's just some circuits. And a hull, so it's actually pretty easy to craft up. Uh, let me. Yeah, we're not gonna go that route yet. It's not that. Um, let me. Let me figure out what I want. Um, I personally like the lathe. Um, I know a lot of people don't go for that. It does require diamond, which isn't an issue, but it does require these. But like I said, these are much easier. What the lathe lets you do is get a better ratio on rods. And as you can see, we actually use quite a bit of rods. Um, so yeah, let me, uh, let me figure out what I want to build next. There is a basic mixer. Mixer will help with some of the things, and this is relatively easy to craft up. Um, so yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back, and I just need to do a couple things here, and I should be able to craft up the lathe. Now, like I said, a lot of people do not like the lathe, but I am a fan. Um, we'll see it in a second why people don't like it. Hammer, was it hammer and file? Unfortunately, that one... I should move the should move that to there is really what I should do. So uh, when I do that, I'll move it. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, hammer and oh, hammer and cutter. That's right. Hammer cutter. We go. I'm going to be really happy to not have to do it that way, but unfortunately, it's going to be 
we're gonna be doing that for a while that recipe all right so there is that um this is gonna be like a nightmare with all this stuff falling all over the place but I, no, I haven't crafted up a dolly. Or I just have a random spruce on me. Come on. There we go. Hello's. Yeah, it's like my kind of my tool chest. I think that other than bronze pipes, which really don't go in there anyway. All right, there we go. So now I have five that are connected to that chest. Anyway, I didn't really need to show that. Oh, I do need to get nope two that and that all right so there is the lathe there is a quest for that i couldn't find it where was it oh down is that it ah oh, that's it down there i thought that was a fluid solidifier actually oh, i didn't i didn't recognize that yeah but uh there's the basic lathe i do like it vacuum hopper shower man i do not have a x i have nowhere near getting a mob farm all right these are tin cable yes all right um i do need to kind of think about cable loss actually i haven't really been paying attention to it but uh, that is definitely a thing i love how i was just making sure that it was the right it was the right tier so it doesn't blow up not that i even have other tiers it's just such habit i always i check the cable I'm like okay tin cable it's the right cable and then i look at the tool tip to make sure it's the right tier that's kind of funny such habit um so the lathe for example i'm gonna do we'll do i'm gonna do a bunch of these so uh, for motors, because we need iron rods, I need to polarize them, and we need the other one for the motors. So instead of doing the file and ingot to get it, um, I'm going to do the lathe, which actually gives you one rod and some dust afterwards. Now, the reason a lot of people don't like it is because you do get small dusts, so you have to deal with the small dusts. And in the case of the steel steel rods, you're going to get steel dust. And steel dust cannot be smelted in a regular furnace. It has to go in a blast furnace. Um, I could actually put it in the smeltery, which, um, yeah, I might actually do that anyway to get them back. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's why a lot of people don't like the lathe early on but it's uh it saves on materials so anything that i can do to lessen the grind that i need to do in collecting materials um yeah i'm gonna do those machines like i said i haven't been paying attention to cable loss um this is 16 eu per tick so it actually can go quite far down the line um, I don't know if I should talk about cable loss. A lot of people have some issues with it when you're new to Greg Tech. Um, but basically, each cable, we look at this, uh, loss meter amper is 1. So basically, that means every single cable, it's going to have less and less power in it. Um, so it actually loses 1 power just from leaving the, the basic steam turbine. Um, I believe. Um, so this cable actually only has 31 EU per tick running through it. If we remember, this is producing 32 EU per tick. So this is going to have 31, 30, 
2928. So if I had a machine on here, this is only going to get 28 EU per tick because of the loss in the cable. And if I put a recipe that required 30, and one of the really big offenders is actually the fluid solidifier. Um, see if I can pull up, pull up the recipes for that. The fluid solidifier. Um, I can't do that yet, but it's really close to 128 is a full MV. And as you can see, this is 120. So that only gives you a very small amount of leeway. Uh, if you look at most of the recipes, it's a bit awkward with the fluid solidifier because most of the recipes are MV. Um, but they'll be... I love how it's not. <laughs> I need to get something... Anyway, it's usually, it's going to be 30 EU per tick. So it needs to be really close to the front of the line. The metal bender is... Oh, that's actually a low EU per tick. Um, I remember the fluids, maybe I'm thinking of a different machine. I'm getting confused. But uh, the bending machine is 24 EU per tick. So if you remember, you lose 31, 30, 29, 28. Well, I could keep making this even longer, and we'd still be getting power going into the vending machine. Now, technically, yeah, it's not the most efficient. You want to have them closer to the turbine because it's going to have to produce more power because you're actually losing more the longer your line. But uh, I actually don't care about efficiency, really. Um, in my opinion, if the machine is running, that's all I care about. Um, if we're not running out of steam, it's running, and if it's all the way down here and it's still running, um, I don't care whether that is more efficient being right here or way down there. But that is just the way I play Greg Tech, and a lot of people will freak out um, at that, saying, oh, you're not doing it the most efficient way. Nope, absolutely not doing it the most efficient way, because I don't care. As long as the machines are running, that's all I care about. I don't care if it's 100% efficient. I don't care if it's 20% efficient. All I care about is getting the item that I want without having power issues, which is also one of the reasons I like battery buffers. A lot of people think they are not efficient because you have cable loss going into it and cable loss coming out of it, but I do not care. It makes it easier to run uh, bigger things like multi-blocks, but we will get into that and I'm definitely going to use battery buffers and uh, I just like to see all the tiers on the correct tech new horizon discord crying about battery buffers I feed on the tiers anyway, um, I think The main kind of bottleneck right at the moment is actually my steel production um, As we can see I am producing it Slowly, I can't remember what the actual time is on this thing. 360 seconds, six minutes per steel ingot. So right now I'm producing one every three minutes, basically. Uh, that is pretty slow. Um, if we look at the lathe, I think this was, we knocked it down a bit. So now... It's three, now that we have the bending machine, this is three ingots as opposed to it was six before or something like that. Um, but this is, let me think. This is three ingots, three steel ingots, four, five, eight. So one piston is eight steel. And then the LV machine hull is nine. So that's 17 17 steel that goes into this and then even I need another two so 19 technically with the circuits 19 ingots of steel to produce that lathe and uh, if we're thinking about it we're only producing one every three minutes um, you can see that it actually takes quite a bit of time to produce 19 and uh, that is true I was afk for kind of a while I was doing something on my other monitor while the steel things were just ticking along and uh, I was waiting for the steel so 
Long story short, I think I want to increase my steel production, but the fire bricks are so annoying to craft up. Um, you need a bucket of concrete, you need to do this recipe, and then you have to move the buckets. Well, I don't want to do that anymore. Um, I want to make them easier, and let's see if I can... Fluid concrete? Is it that one? It might be that one. Nope. What concrete? There we go. I can actually put it in a mixer and have it mix it for me, and I don't have to deal with any of that uh, craziness. And uh, I think I may, I may do it that way. I think um, mixer is also one of the ones right up at the top. See right here, there is a recipe for it. Um, yes, and mix some mixer recipes actually, when you're mixing dust and stuff, are actually better than doing it by hand. Um, so I may do that. It's also easy, it just requires one motor, as opposed to like a piston and stuff like that. Um, but I think, I think I'm going to have to wait. Like I said, uh, this is going to be, what? This is 9, 10, 11. Yeah, this is going to be 11, 11 ingots. So, yeah, I don't have enough. I'm going to have to wait. So in the meantime, I'm actually going to do some more crops, I think. I have been putting this off because the ratio that we actually get from crop sticks is terrible at the moment um, so crops require four long wood sticks and to get two is um one one log and then you require two tools so i need two logs and i need to use my tools two times each so that's four uses of tools to get one crop stick well now that i have a lathe i can actually just put it in there and it's one log and i don't even use any um i'm not going to use any durability on my weapon so i am definitely going to do that i'm doing 16 because there is a quest and there we go so there is the crop i have everything else i just didn't want to spend all that durability and tools and eventually we'll even get an assembler recipe which makes it even cheaper so for right now we're going to do four long wood sticks one crop eventually we can get just one gives you two so as you can see that's kind of typical greg tech new horizons progression um starts out really bad two logs and then it drops down to one log and then it drops down to like what is that an eighth of a log or something like that um oops so yeah because I want to plant some more these. I'm going through tons of logs. I'm still filling up the charcoal pit um, because we need lots of charcoal um, for the seal that we're going through tons and tons of charcoal. Uh, this only does so much. Um, and that is actually the other thing. Can I make... No, that's actually, the coke oven's really easy to make, actually. I couldn't remember if there was a, no, I couldn't remember if there's like a mixer recipe for that. So I do think I'm going to do the mixer recipe, I think. Let me just double check while that is creating those. Yeah. It is that concrete. The only thing is it's, if you do it in a mixer, it is a bit awkward, I th think. Oh, that might actually be a different concrete. Maybe that's not going to work it, what I thought it would. Because there's this concrete and then there's this concrete. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. 
Because this one is... This one is that concrete. All right. So that's going to be... Hmm, that's a bit annoying. I feel like that's kind of a oversight because this is two calcite stone dust quartz sand and clay dust if we look at this there's that recipe but it produces a different concrete and then kind of a weird amount that's definitely like an oversight i think all right do we have this there we go plus we're getting wood pulp which wood pulp is good for our wood planks. Also, I need to use this for something. And I don't remember what it was. I was like, I need to get a wood plank. I don't remember. Right, my clipboard. That's what I wanted to craft up. So I will do that as well. Go ahead and do this. There it is 16 crop sticks. Do we get anything cool? 64 crop sticks. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to complete this at the moment. Um, I don't remember. Ah. Uh, oh. I actually have a lathe now. Well, look at that. I have a lathe. I don't think I can get a glass pane yet, though. Oh, I can. Why don't I craft that up really quick? This is going to take me a second just to do all the... Well, maybe it won't. No, actually it won't. Do that, and then I can just throw it in the lathe. And the lathe, there we go. I'm using the lathe already. So the lathe is really... I really, really like the lathe. Um, like I said, some people are not a fan, so I don't know why. Now, does this, does this, uh, I don't remember if this shows the actual stats. That's going to take a second. Uh, we'll be right back. All right. I actually just ran into a problem and it was actually perfect because I was just talking about this. I didn't realize the recipe for the thing I'll show it here in a second. I didn't realize the recipe for the lens is actually it's 30 EU per tick. Exactly what I was talking about. It's a very high power thing. It's almost at the limit. The 32 EU per tick is LV and it is 60 seconds. Now the problem is we're not getting enough power to do this. If we remember we're only getting 31, 30, 29. We're only getting 28 you per tick. And since it's such a long recipe, it is depleting the internal buffer that it has and running out of power. Now the wire mill and even the polarizer, let me actually just move this. Um, these are actually quite, these recipes are not power hungry. So I'm actually going to move this, and unfortunately I do lose the recipe in there. So those two pieces of glass, or that glass pane, I actually lost by doing that, but not the end of the world. Um, I'm going to put this in there. Now before I do that, we have another issue as well. I knew this was going to be kind of coming up here, and that is I'm not actually able to supply the steam turbine with enough power as you saw that it was dropping um, that is because those pipes do not carry enough uh, they don't have enough throughput so i actually crafted up oh my goodness my inventory is full <laughs> Pretty quick and use some of this stuff let me get the spruce staffling out of my inventory <laughs> and that all right um, so I'm going to replace these. Do I have enough? One, two, three. Yeah, I do. I'm going to break these. Come on. And replace these with steel. So the small bronze is 800 liters per second. Steel is 1600. So it's actually double. I 
to get used to them not connecting. And then we will close the shutters so the steam only goes in one direction. There we go. And now this should be getting enough steam. You can do that. And everything should be running. So there we go. It's staying at 2400. It is running at full steam. It Full steam. <laughs> it's running at uh, full capacity. Um, we are draining our steam. Obviously, I don't even think these are running. Nope, they run out of thing. Well, they are actually still producing. They're still hot. Um, they're just not running. They're going to cool off. But yeah. So as we can see, we are losing power. But uh, we got a machine running. Um, and we will get that. But anyway, that is going to be it for today. I kind of ran out of time here. So next episode, we'll come back. I will do some more. I got to wait um, get some more steel. I may go farm up some more gypsum and calcite. And uh, maybe craft up two more bricked blast furnaces. Um, we shall see. But uh, yeah, there is the glass lens. And uh, we'll even take a look at the glass. Um, we'll look at this plant lens for tomorrow. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.